What is going on, Sacktown? Sacktown Pete back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Let's move on to our next next draft uh, prospect, and that is Duke small forward Jalen Johnson. I personally watch a lot of Duke basketball, and I'm a big Coach K fan. And let me tell you about Jalen Johnson. He is a 6'8", 6'9", small forward. I played uh, 13 games for the Blue Devils this past season. He went on to average uh, 18 and a half points, 10 boards, about four assists, about three, uh, three, two steal, two, three steals, I believe. And he had about a couple blocks a game too. So basically he is a versatile combo slash forward and he does pretty much everything. Um, this would be my, if Moody's off the board, Jalen Johnson would be my uh, second option for the Sacramento Kings. And let me explain why. Early on when I watched Jalen Johnson this season, I didn't like him. Let me be crystal clear. I just thought he was too raw. I felt like I just didn't see the heart. Um, and as the season went on, I changed my mind because I saw the potential. I saw him do really well in games. I saw him uh, destroy teams in games. And I saw his athleticism. Uh, he is a beast. I'm not going to lie. He is a beast because as the season progressed, the more I saw him, of him play basketball, the more I was like, okay, he has a lot of potential to grow, to get better. And he pretty much does everything. He fills up the stats. Uh, his jump shot, he's a good mid-range shooter. Um, definitely has to uh, be a better outside shooter uh, beyond, from the, beyond the art. But He's raw, and I think that he will improve that as time goes on in the league. Uh, player development is everything, and I think that the Sacramento Kings uh, definitely can develop and mold him into what they want. As far as being a 3 and D guy, I don't know. I'm not sure if he can be that 3 and D guy for the Sacramento Kings, but I will say that he can guard multiple, multiple positions, and he can become a good defender in the league. Um... There's times where I've questioned his uh, work ethic and attitude, but like I said, as over the time as I continue to watch him, I think that he has a good work ethic and his attitude with Coach K. Coach K definitely uh, raved about him. Um, Coach K mentioned that he's gotten better as a player and as, a, as an individual as the season progressed. And uh, in 13 games that he played, uh, Coach K enjoyed uh, having him on the on the roster, so uh, I think that he, as far as terms of fit and how he fits in with the Kings, I think it can be a potentially a good fit. Um, you talk about uh, De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Halliburton needing that wing, and I think that he can definitely be that uh, wing, and he can be a good uh, overall uh, basketball player for the Sacramento Kings. Um, there's been some red flags about Jalen uh, Johnson, about him uh, only appearing in 13 games at Duke. But I can tell you that, you know, from the first game until the 13th game that I seen him play, uh, the kid grew. Uh, he matured. Uh, he competed. You know, Duke, this was probably the first season in a long, long time. They weren't really competitive. Um but still, they had a very good basketball player in Jalen Johnson. Uh, I know Coach K continues to rave about him. And I feel like the Sacramento Kings uh, definitely need that potential player that can come in and take over that wing position. Uh, whether they decide to do what uh, you know, Harrison Barnes is yet to be determined. But I think that this uh, pick can be a, a, a definitely a rewardable pick. And it also can be a bust pick, um, you know, the work ethic, the, uh, you know, some of the uh, development um, issues or whatever the case may be around Jalen Johnson's, um, you know, name from the critics. Um, I think if he works hard, if he, you know, can develop and continue to get better, I wouldn't worry about his work ethic or those um you know, red or orange flags, as it's been, uh, you know, stated about around his name. Um, yes, uh, we do have some Duke. We've had some Duke uh, players, should I say, in Jabari Parker, uh, Harry Giles, 
and uh, currently uh, Marvin Bagley. So the connection with Duke is there with the Sacramento Kings. But as far as any, like, you know, bad negativity words around Jalen Johnson, I I wouldn't read up into that. I've seen Duke basketball, like I said, uh, plenty of Duke basketball this season. And um, he's a good uh, good basketball player. I think he can fit in really well with the Sacramento Kings. Uh, with that being said, I know there's other prospects that I'll be talking about as well. There's two sleepers that I have that I will mention in future videos. But I just think that in terms of where we're picking, and keep this in mind, guys. Jalen Johnson might not be available. He might be gone before the time we pick. And that goes the same for Moody as well, who I previously talked about. Um, you guys got to factor in the fact that there might be somebody I'm not talking about right now that might be available that might slip to us, that might fall to us in at nine that was projected to go at uh, in the top eight. So kind of similar to how Tyrese Halliburton fell last year all the way to us at 12. And obviously we were not dumb. I mean, thank God we were not dumb last year, and we took the best player available in Tyrese Halliburton. So uh, this is fun. This is definitely fun to do. I love doing these videos for you guys, uh, especially these draft prospects. You just never know uh, what's going to happen. But I think that with Moody being off the board, let's just say that he is off the board, and if Jalen Johnson is available, I would be open to having the Sacramento Kings take a chance on him and seeing where it goes with him. Um, like I said, the whole negativity thing and some of the issues that are that around his name about you know having some red flags and leaving Duke early and only playing in 13 games for Duke, um, I wouldn't, I would, I would not even look into that. I think he's a good kid. Um, I think that he has played really well at Duke and he still has some room to grow. I mean, he's only 19 years old. That's what any of the most draft prospects. They're all young. They're all gonna be rookies. They're gonna have some room to grow. And uh, but comparing him to Moody, obviously I think Moody's a little bit more ready um, to step in into a team and, and help them contribute. Whereas Jalen Johnson, um, he can do things. He can definitely defend uh, uh, the you know play defense and he can defend multiple, multiple positions. But I think as far as um, getting him acclimated and being uh, ready for an NBA team, it, uh, it may take a little longer with Jalen Johnson. But the potential is there. I mean. We talk about potential all the time, and the potential is, is definitely there with Jalen Johnson. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your guys thoughts on Jalen Johnson. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I just want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys for always tuning in, always staying active in the comments section. I'm always engaged. I'm looking at the comments. I I mean, the, the Moses Moody video, you guys had the ballpark. Um, definitely positive feedback. I know there's a lot of Moses Moody fans here tuning in, and I'm happy to do this, man, because I really am a fan of Moses Moody. I really think that he would be, in my opinion, he would be my first option if he's available at nine. But obviously, you just don't know because workouts happen, draft stocks rise, and uh, players move up. So he could be gone, and I think that Jalen Johnson could be a good pick here at number nine for the Sacramento Kings. With that being said, guys, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a good rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. I will catch you guys in my next video. The next video uh, will be one of my sleeper picks. And um, I think that this prospect, oh, man, uh, I think he's going to be really, really good in the league. And um, I'll explain why he'll be a sleeper pick in my next video. So I'll catch you guys in my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Keep pushing forward. Have a good rest of your Friday. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.